Hey guys, welcome back to another makeup tutorial. So today I'm starting off first with the Wonder Kiss, which is by Wonder 2, Wonder Brow, the brand. And I'm just using this to really prep my lips and it helps to plump it as well. I really love this stuff. Then onto my brows, I'm using the Sleek Brow Stylist in dark just to like shape my brows. And then I finished off with the um, sleek brow gel in dark as well and this keeps my brow hairs in place I did go a bit overboard made a bit of a mess but don't worry we cleaned it up with concealer <laughs> um, I'm using the NYX gotcha, con gotcha covered concealer in golden just to clean the edges and really make my brows look really kind of like defined and sh nicely shaped so I did one eye off camera and we're gonna show you how to do oh, the other eye on camera oh my god what's wrong with me but anyways, um, I'm using the LA Girl eyeshadow base, this is the nude one and I'm just applying this all over my lid and now we're going to use the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette, like one of my favourite palettes ever and I'm using Desert Sand as my base to set the concealer first. Then I'm using um, Saffron and I forgot this other shade, Amber, just to kind of really define the crease so I'm really packing those two colours in my crease. And then I use a clean brush to blend the edges and then it helps blending so much. So what I do, I'm doing it again, I'm just packing on the colours where I want them to be and then I use a clean brush to blend the edges. Then I'm going in with some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 just to kind of carve the crease and I find that when I use this concealer it really gives me a good cut crease. So yeah, definitely recommend this concealer if you just want to have like these perfect cut crease because I don't know, it makes it look more clean and sharp and precise and it stays put as well. So yeah, I'm just doing that and then I use my sponge to kind of take away any excess concealer from my lid and now I'm using the shade Musk from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm applying this wherever I put the matte concealer and I use a different brush to really get into the edges. Now I'm using the shade Oud with a really really tiny brush, I believe this brush is from Urban Decay and I'm just applying this on the crease itself just to really make that contrast stand out and I also applied some more saffron to make it more of like a burgundy colour and I also went in with Desert Sand again which is the first colour we used to highlight the brow bone. Now onto eyeliner, I'm using the NYX black eyeliner in, well it's black actually, it's the matte one <laughs> and I'm just doing a classic wing liner as you can see and then when I was done with that I did curl my lashes and I applied some mascara, the Makeup Forever mascara, I'll, like, I'll link everything in the other box as always and I did use some concealer to clean up the wing as well. Now onto lashes, I'm using my Huda Beauty Lashes and Jade. I love these lashes, they're so so pretty. Now onto skin, I'm using the Glam Glow Moisturiser in Sun Glow, which is one of my favourite moisturisers at the moment, and just apply that all over. And from foundation today, I'm using the LA Girl um, Illuminating HD Foundation in Tan. I haven't used this in a while because I'm almost running out of it, but it's really really nice. It's definitely a dewy foundation, you need powder with it, but I'm just buffing this all in with my beauty blender and then for concealer today I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Tan and just highlighting my under under my eyes, the bridge of my nose and my forehead and blending everything out as you can see and then I'm using the LA Girl Pro Powder, the banana one and I'm just going to use this to set under my eyes and whatever's left on the sponge I like to kind of tap it everywhere else to help set the foundation because obviously it's very dewy, it's very shiny and I would not recommend this if you have oily skin. Um, so yeah, I'm just blending everything off and now I'm using some NYX matte bronzer in deep to really contour them cheeks because I look like a hamster guys, I look like a hamster. But that's okay, that's why we need contour and bronzer. <laughs> but anyways, just apply that on the cheeks and the perimeter of your face. I went a bit overboard as you can see, but that's okay. So now I'm using the Makeup Revolution, I think this is called Radiant Light Blush or Highlighter, but I will link it in the info box. It's a really, really pretty peach gradient um, blush. Then onto highlight, I'm using the Kiko 2.0, full 2.0 highlighter, and I'm just applying this on my cheeks, temples, bridge of the nose, as always guys. And finally onto my lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in, I think this is Vixen, 
but I absolutely love this colour and it's not sticky. I still have it on guys. I just feel like it's I don't even feel it on my lips right now. But anyways, so after that I did put some of saffron and amber on my lower lash line and some mascara. And that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup show. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!